In a world of illusions, we hold ourselves in place by memories. Though they may be but dreams of a dream, they seem at times more there than the there we daily inhabit. Fixed and meaningful texts in the indecipherable flux of the world's words, so vivid at times, that we feel we can almost reach out and touch them. But memories have a way of coming apart on us, losing their certainty. And when they start to peel away, we do what we can to push them bit by bit back in place, fearful of losing our very selves if we lose the stories of ourselves. But these are only minds that hold them, fragile data softly banked. Increasingly, they rip apart, blur and tangle with one another, and swarm mockingly about us, threatening us with absence. Light over the sill of an unshaded bedroom window into a woman's eyes. She turns away, slips half back under sleep. A man sleeps, head rested in the crook of a couch arm. Fingers have gathered a small thatch of his hair. He feels them pull through, then a tug. He hears a snip grow smaller on his bones. In a sheetrock bedroom, under an acrylic blanket, a woman tosses, twists, turns over into another oak-paneled room. A bed, vast and cool and loose about her. She reaches for the lamp switch to wake before sunrise, to bring Nana breakfast. But her fingernails tap the plastic face of her alarm clock, its boxy numbers telling her the time of another continent. Blanket. Fists. Loose. Hand. Sleeping. Reaches. Under. Back. Of. Deep. Napping. Paper. Pastries. Thanks. Under. Loose. Must. Uncurl rhythm. She can be nana. We stare into the white void of lost memories, a loose scatter about us of what fragments remain. No sense but nonsense to be found there. If memories define us, what defines us when they're gone? An unbearable prospect. We retrieve what we can and try again. <laughs> 